Conflict uh, towards something happening, a story. But, you know, right now we're about two weeks before Election Day, and the dominant narrative from the press is actually not about a horse race at all. It's about how, well, Hillary Clinton is far ahead of Trump, and there's already talk about Trump's campaign being over. Um, is the race over? Certainly he's at a stage where he's needing emotionally, personally, to confront the possibility that he could lose this election. With just three weeks to go here, he's, he finds himself in, 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 a, in a fair amount of trouble. It's Trump is uh, most likely headed to lose this election. The presidential race will be preordained, and the only battle will be over the Senate and the House. I think this is a really interesting situation for cable news and, and for journalists to be in. Some journalists feel Trump has squandered his opportunity. Others feel his candidacy has reverted back to what it was in the first place, a joke. But our reporters, our commentators, getting ahead of themselves. Let's ask ABC News chief political analyst and former Bush Cheney advisor Matthew Dowd. He's joining me now here in New York. Uh, Matthew, we just heard Dan Rather uh, saying this race is not over. People should be careful about that. Your message, though, has been... Clinton's had a steady lead all along, and that absent, I believe you said, a political meteor, Clinton's going to win a very similar victory to Obama 2008. What's the right tone for journalists to be striking, uh, trying to keep both these things in mind? Well, I think the, the right starting point is to tell the truth, right? To say actually what's going on instead of invent some scenario that creates some other media uh, uh, point of focus in, in Do this. Do you see that happen sometimes, journalists trying to make up a horse race that doesn't exist? Well, I said a couple of weeks ago, I mean, I've watched this race since June, and the race basically is traded between a two-point Hillary lead and a seven-point Hillary lead the entire time, hmm. from between those things. That's actually a significant lead in a country that's very polarized. I have seen journalists who, who actually say the race is too close to call, it's too tight, in, in order to feed a narrative that could cover a close race. I think the problem with that in this environment, why I think I want to speak out and say, yes, it's not over but it's a definite Hillary advantage and she's most likely going to win it, is that there's a number of voters out there, if you tell them that it's too close to call and all of a sudden they show up on election day and it's a six or a seven or an eight point race, they actually are going to distrust the system less. They're going to believe Trump's claim about a rigged election. Yeah, and when Donald Trump points to one or two polls that are outlier polls saying it's, it's, it's too close to call or as his campaign management tried to convince his voters that he's really competitive in this course of this race, it actually feeds the narrative that on election night, if he loses, then they believe the system is rigged. Let's talk about election night. You said on tour this week that Paul Ryan should come out and give a speech. Mm -hmm. uh, assuming Trump might not give his concession speech, why should Paul Ryan come out and speak on the same night as Clinton? Well, I'm, I love this country, and I'm a huge believer in this country, and I'm a total independent now, and I, I have fault in both political parties in this. Somebody needs to take over for the GOP as the designated driver on election night and take the car keys away from Donald Trump. Did you think Trump won't come out to the cameras and concede if he does lose? I think that the words Donald Trump will utter will not go do anything to help heal the country. Huh. And we need leaders on election night that will help heal this rift in our country or begin to heal. It's going to take a while to do that. I think Paul Ryan or somebody else needs to step up and give a speech that says we may have our differences and assuming Hillary Clinton is likely to win, that I'm going to work with Hillary Clinton. We're going to help bring this country together. We're going to move ourselves forward. That kind of speech needs to happen on election night. And I have grave doubts that Donald Trump can give that speech. It says something about the stability of the race, that here we are 16 days before election day talking about election night and gaming out the scenarios involving whether Trump will speak and what he'll say and whether Paul Ryan should speak for him. Well, I think, you know, having been, having run campaigns and been involved in a number of campaigns and having done George W. Bush's race in 2000 and 2004, I think many times the races are covered too tactically and not too not broadly enough in a moment the series of important moments in this campaign have passed and the last one passed in the debate what's going forward now is either an unexpected thing that breaks a meteor yes that, that happens and all of a sudden wow that's shocking i didn't know where that came from and those do happen george bush's dwi in the final three days was an effect on the did effect on the race in 2000 but absent those things the tactical elements of this campaign are not going to adjust this who gives a speech where what they say here even though everybody wants to cover and all that, is not going to fundamentally change the opinion of 140 million Americans. Some great context for us as we watch the last 16 days of all this coverage, this nonstop coverage that will suddenly end in a couple weeks. And we all love our country and we want it to heal. Matthew, great to see you. you Thank too, you, man. You too. Uh, coming up here after the break, something I've been looking forward to doing all year long. Uh, since America's trust in the media is at historic lows, what do people want to see changed? I spoke with a focus group to find out, and we'll show you the answers right after this.